These days, technology is, is developing in a number of different areas, be they LEDs, battery powers, the fact we all have mobile phones. There's a lot of new technologies that arrive on the market every five years, and we'd love to be making better use of those to understand our planet. We're very keen to develop new instrumentation for environmental monitoring. That can be anything from looking at temperature and humidity to rainfall and distributed rainfall mapping, or for just sensors on every lamppost, sensors in schools. What can we learn about our urban environment? Here we look at using sunlight to measure a load of different atmospheric parameters, including pollution. We're looking at the air quality over our urban environments. We have an urbanizing world. We have a large global population that needs to be able to understand what emissions they're being subjected to. It's a really challenging task to work out what's being emitted in a large city with 300,000 people. What we can do is we can take a plane, fly it overhead, and within two hours we can map out all of the emissions from all the industrial estates in Leicester, including the M1, all of the road network, um, and get in a single snapshot what that air pollution looks like. We have a city scan instrument installed in Leicester. It's installed at the university's tallest building, the Attenborough Tower, and it's an instrument that maps out the pollution in an urban environment every six minutes. And we are measuring the integrated amount of pollution along a line of sight. We have a virtual reality headset we can use for this as well, so you can stand on top of a building and you can look around yourself and see this invisible pollution. And it's a fantastic tool for policymakers or the public or local authorities as they're wanting to manage these emissions. And for the first time, we can show them, they can visibly see these, gas, these plumes of gases over the city. What we're also looking at is having an airborne version where we fly overhead just as you would with any aerial survey, but this time instead you get a complete map of the nitrogen dioxide in an area and that could have massive commercial value. We're very keen to work with industries within Leicester and beyond, looking at the various different levels of, of pollution exposure, whether that's from the regulatory limit, looking at compliance with European or national legislation, or whether that's looking at school children, the elderly, asthma sufferers, and trying to manage the amount of exposure for these vulnerable individuals. Mm -hmm.